Morning guys, I am out on the S18 this morning for a nice little forest uh, ride and um, yeah, it's, it's lovely weather as you can see, sun is out, clear skies. Yesterday it rained a bit and we really needed it, uh, it's bizarre. We had about uh, two weeks of no rain. But uh, getting back to the point, um, out, out doing some trail riding on the S18 and what I want to do today is just talk about, um, I've, we've got about 160 miles on, on this board on the S18 and I just want to um, go over a few of the points um, about the wheel that I found. So not long term, I haven't done super amount of miles, most of my miles are, um, are forest trails so it's uh, so it's, uh, uh, what, do you, what, do you, what do you call it, uh, short and sharp. <laughs> so uh, I, don't, I don't really get uh, long, long, long rides. And if I do get, then it's uh, next to the canal or whatever. So what I want to do today is just cover a few of the things that, that I found on, on, the, on the wheel after um, owning it, really. Um, so uh, yeah, but first, let's get some riding in. Ooh, the trails are slippery, but it's so nice. This is so nice. Ooh, there we go. This uh, this little part here is getting worn out more and more and more. So uh, ah, I should be able to make it. Boom, and it is job done. There's already people in the forest this morning. Ooh, ooh. So I'm going to go over the wheel and then we can, um, I just want to show you around the wheel and how it's been, uh, how it's been holding up. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's pretty solid. <laughs> so let's have a look. Okay guys, so uh, let's have a quick look around the wheel. Um, so from the front, the only thing that really, um, is sort of uh, bugging me, you know. It's like an, it's almost like a Tesla's uh, bulk, bulk, bulk quality, where it's everything is not lined up 100%. But like uh, these little bumpers here, they sort of, or the uh, spaces, they, they, with continuous riding, it sort of starts popping out, and you just have to press that back. This is this is not really minor things, you know. I'm not. It's it's not it's not going to be. Um, I'm just letting you know what I found. You know, I am. I like to look after the stuff, and I want to make sure that it that that it's in good con in good condition. Um, so uh, again, you know, um, the front. I've had a little off here, but it's because it's in the forest. It's, it's not. It's not really. It's not damaging. It's not on on tarmac and whatever. Um, in between here, there's a bit of what do you call it? A bit of. Um, a bit of uh, uh, chafing, but uh, that is also just because um, stones and stuff get in between the mud guard um, and the frame, and that moves up and down, and it creates a bit of uh, friction there. But it's not, it's not, uh, it's not. Uh, um, you see, it's you just move it a little bit, and then the stone clears, and then and, and then there is uh, space, but be space between it. Uh, moving on to the side. So uh, the one thing that is a, uh, a irritation uh, more than a problem, and I think for the longevity of these of these things, is these little dust boots. Um, it doesn't matter how many times you put them down; um, they keep on popping, popping out, and then they ride up to where where the, spen the suspension um, runs at the maximum travel. Um, I have tried a fix on the other side, and I'll show you that in a minute. Um, the other thing as well, the rear fender, this thing has come loose. I use hot glue. The hot glue stuff is quite nice because it's, it's not a permanent fix. So if you do fall, it, um, it just clips off the, the glue. And I get home, warm the glue gun, uh, put a bit of um, hot glue on both sides and it's, and, and it's uh, running 100% again. Um, anything else? This has all been good. The pedals has been really awesome. No real damage. A few scrapes there on the front. Nothing, nothing really um, interesting on that side. No rust in anything, so that's all cool. 
Let's have a look at the rear of the shock. There's also no real problems here. Haven't really, this thing's still running smooth. I keep it uh, uh, clean. It's not clean now, but I try and keep it, keep it clean after like say uh, four rides, I would sort of clean the shock out. Just dust it, just dust it off and all the moving parts, just uh, put a little bit of oil in there. Um, let's turn it around to the other side, the rear of the shock. No real problems. I've said in my other videos as well, I'm riding, um, I'm, uh, I'm 75 kilograms. Um, so I ride uh, 220 PSI in the main chamber, the top, the top one, and then uh, 90 in the bottom. And then the rebound, the rebound clicker is right in there. You see the little red clicker there? I run that at eight clicks from fast. So this side again hasn't hasn't popped out, so that's all cool. Um, the tire has been performing really well, no problems with that. Um, oh yeah, so so what I've been doing with these boots on on the other side, just as a test, because one of the other um, um, channels that I follow, it's he suggested doing using glue, um, and I just wanted to try um, the hot glue and see if that actually works and. I've just dropped like four little, uh, th sorry, three little um, spots of hot glue there, and it, it's been holding out. I've, I've, I've done about four rides now, um, trail riding, so it's up and down the whole time, and that's been holding up really good. So, um, and then again, you know, if it's, if it, uh, if I wanted to take it off, I just basically clip it off, and then it uh, falls off. Um, it's not a permanent um, glue. On this side, this thing has been um, it's been a bit of rubbing there on the main motor 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 cable, but it is shielded with this uh, meshing, so that's that's no issue. Um, the pedal little things here that keeps the pedals going up and down, that's all been fine. No problems there. And this side of the pedals, no no problems there. Then on this side on the front. Um, I ride with my handle um, up, so if I need to jump off or whatever, I can I can grab it. So I don't have the trolley handle activation thing. So I just switch the wheel off and switch it back, back, back on. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little bit. Um, just a quick, really a quick update. But I'm gonna get the 360 out and then um, let's go for a little ride. And I'll talk about the wheel a little bit further. Let's go. So yeah, I've been, I've, been, I've been really impressed with my S18. Awesome wheel, <laughs> big thumbs up. And uh, if you wanna do trail riding, man, you can't go wrong. This is a really nice wheel. There's loads of people walking their dogs. So I'm uh, going in between them. <laughs> Yeah, lovely, lovely morning to be out. But yeah, trail riding, S18, big thumbs up. And yeah, I haven't really had any problems with my wheel. You know, the wheel is just, uh, it's just been rock solid. You know, there were some, uh, some teething problems in the beginning where, uh, my, uh, where, 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 again, I said earlier, the board, board wasn't happy um, but after that when that was sorted out um, it, it's been plain sailing it's been really good fun solid it had a few knocks where I came off but um, not had any anything break Whoa. so uh, very happy with this wheel no that's it's riding nice and high. Whoa. Ooh. Oh, knees. It's r riding really nice and comfy. And um, I can't real, really com re complain. Oh, another one. Ooh. Just have to jump into it and then bring your knees up. So you follow with the wheel. That's what I find works the best. <laughs> Morning. 
But yeah, guys, uh, drop some comments below. How are you getting on with your S18s? And if you do have any questions about the S18, again, drop them in the comments below so I can uh, try and answer them for you. Um, if you've got any concerns or anything that uh, you... Ooh, there we go. Little trail section. Let's see if I can get through this little thing without falling. <laughs> this is super narrow. You think I'm going to be able to do this? No. Too muddy. Too muddy. <laughs> Way too muddy. But at least I found a uh, fun little area how to get in here that's cool now you can see how the path has been walked out on the edges because it's uh, too way too juicy oh no you know um, we had we had now a, like a few a couple of weeks two weeks where we had no rain and uh, I was trying to get out as much as possible and uh, it's so nice to ride a dry trail <laughs> I, had a, I was looking at Zen Lee one of his videos where he rides there and it's like dry man it's like oh, super dusty and super dry <laughs> it's like <laughs> totally the opposite to what we have here I'll definitely uh, try and make my way some other time uh, going to visit We've got family. My wife's sister lives in a, lives in America, California. So, uh, now that would be quite nice to be able to uh, to actually go and visit and do a bit of riding there. Because as far as I understand, it's like the laws are very favourable to like EUC riders or any electric electric device so that's quite cool but yeah guys so uh, just getting back to the, the S18 you know I've done I've done probably about all in all um, about what is it probably say about 200 miles all in all uh, probably a little bit more say 250 300 miles you know I, I actually can't remember how much was on the board when um when i had the water damage so it might have been 100 miles so I'd probably say about 260 um and uh yeah man it's it's uh it's been it's been a pleasure riding a different wheel because you know i'm a i'm a big gotway fan uh, prior to uh, prior to the King Song, I had uh, nine bots. I had um, and then I had and then I basically jumped to a Gotway M uh, M Super V3, <laughs> the suitcase. So the suitcase was the one that I uh, spent most of the most of my time on, and um, I did m all my trail riding on that wheel. It was just absolutely brilliant, you know, rock solid. Going into work and back, just really uh, use that wheel. I had no issues with it, no issues at at all. No battery issues, no motor issues, just rock solid. And uh, had a few a few punches, but a, a few I mean by I think in the lifetime of that wheel, um, it was two. <laughs> so uh, really solid. Ooh. So very happy with that wheel, but yeah. And then I uh, thought myself, let's go and get some King Song action. And uh, this wheel has been really been good. I think the benefit that, uh, or the, or the design benefit that uh, King Song has is, is because of this, uh, this suitcase look. It's nice and uh, it can be, well, if they. The, do it properly it can be a super solid wheel because it's just like a square on both sides 
But yeah, no problems for me, no real complaints about the S18. Uh, the app has been, they've been keep, keep, uh, keeping, uh, developing on the app. So very happy with that. And uh, yeah, no real issues. If I can think of any issues, I'll, I'll definitely drop them in a video, in the next video, as I uh, find them or come across them. But yeah, that's pretty much it for me to, to, today. I'm on my way home. But uh, guys, thanks for uh, joining me on this quick little ride. I hope you are enjoying your wheels and uh, I will see you on the next ride. Cheers. <laughs>